This is just one piece of a multi-part course on designing characters inside of Adobe Animate. Gain access to this full course plus exercise files and a discount by clicking the link in the description. Now that we know a little bit about designing in Animate CC using the tools, there's one more thing I wanted to point out, just in case I forget to mention it, and that is the Snap to Objects option located on the bottom of the toolbar. While we're working throughout this course, I may sometimes refer to this as magnetics. I just sometimes say that, but it, I actually mean snap to objects. And the best way to look at this is look at the magnet, magnetics. <laughs> that way you can understand what I mean. But just to demonstrate what this does really quick, I'm actually gonna turn it off. And you'll also notice when I squish my toolbar in, with the screen resolution I'm using, I can't access it until I bring it up. So you'll see me doing this a lot in the course, bringing it up to access it. But with it turned off, if I grab the line tool and I come in here and I start drawing, I can do something where I connect the lines. However, if I go a little bit outside and start to draw like this, let's say I'm really close to that edge and I draw, you'll see that it's not quite connecting lines. And so it allows you to come in and just kind of freehand this and try to connect lines using your own abilities to do so. And when we get into width profiles, which I'll be using in this course, so if I switch to a width profile here, you can see that we have this nice tapered effect. And if we don't have magnetics turned on, it sometimes does this thing where it won't quite continue the line. You can see that there's a sort of width profile established here, and it's not quite adhering to that. Let me just use Control A to select everything and then use Delete to remove all of that. And now let's turn on that Snap to Objects option and try this again. So I'm going to draw out a line just like I was. Now, if I click and drag, you'll see what's happening here. And it's easy to tell with the width profile is it is actually continuing off of this line. And as I continue to do things to the second line, it's altering the width profile of the first slightly because it's adhering to the profile. It's going to try to continue that profile because we have snap to objects turned on and it's easier to come in and just quickly snap it to the end of that line, end of this line, this line, and just keep going like this. So you can create a nice closed in object with snap to objects turned on and you can see the width profile is falling along as it should. So you're probably thinking, well, I'm just going to leave snap to objects on all the time because that seems beneficial. Well, there might be times where you have to turn it off and I will be doing that in the course. Like if you get into very small areas and you want to do a certain thing, you might find when you're trying to draw a line, it might accidentally snap to another like this right here. I kind of had to deliberately do it there, but you'll find if you're trying to do little tweaks especially like here you can see that it's like snapping up or down i can't quite get it in between you might have to then go in and go okay i gotta turn snap to objects off for right now so that i can get this exact angle and then from there you could turn snap to objects back on take your selection tool and come in and then snap it like that so that's another way you can approach it as well you can freehand it without snap to objects turn snap to objects on use your selection tool and then snap the end to the other end and it will do the same thing so again i just wanted to point this out i do cover this a little bit i talk more about it as we continue but i also realized at the beginning of the course i don't really touch on it as we start so i just wanted to highlight it here so that way you are aware of that option and if you're having issues drawing certain areas of the character or your design you might want to turn it off or on depending on your situation to view the rest of this course and gain access to the source files visit tunefiles.com use the link in the description to receive a discount